Here's an example using Fibonacci formula just so that you can see how I do it on the calculator. I want to find f of 81, f sub 81 using the Fibonacci formula. So I can write it f sub 81 equals 1 over the square root of 5 times the big quantity 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 raised to the 81st minus 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2 also raised to the 81st power. Now to do that on the calculator the first thing I need to do is figure out this square root of 5 so I put in 5 and then I push the square root button which on this calculator is right here so I do second x squared and that gives me the square root and I can see now that I made a mistake my calculator wants me to do the square root and then do the 5 so I'm going to just do clear and start over so this calculator I do the square root and then 5 I can put the parenthesis or not and push enter that gives me 2.236 and it goes on and on so I don't want to lose all the decimal precision for this so I'm just going to leave that 2.23 sitting on my calculator and then I want to add 1 so I'll just do plus 1 and push enter again. Now I have 3.23606 etc for my numerator and the next thing I want to do is divide by 2 so then I'll just do divide by 2 and now I have 1.618 etc for this whole part here in parentheses and now I want to take it to the 81st power not times 81 but to the 81st so I have to use this to the button here which is like a little carrot and then do 81 push enter or equals and now I want to write this down just so I can kind of keep track of what I'm doing but I have 8.47 and it's times 10 to the 16th I'm going to store that in A on this calculator so to do a store you push this store button here store and it gives me a choice A, B, C, D or E I'm going to use A so I just push equals and now it's telling me I stored that number in A and here's the value of it and that matches what I wrote down so I'm good to go. Now I have that stored so now I can move on to the second one because I have to do the order of operations on this one too. So I need to do that square root first and on this calculator remember we do the square root and then 5 equals remember I told you you don't have to put that parenthesis and you can see I didn't need to there. And then I want to make it negative so I'll just use this change the sign button right here so I change the sign and I have to tell it on the answer so I do second and that same button it happens to be but you can see right above it it says ANS so answer it's taking the previous answer changing it to a negative and then I want to add one so then I can do plus one there are other ways to do this this is just one way and so I'll add one and then now I need to divide by two so we'll do divide by two and I get point or negative point six one eight and goes on and on that was for this whole part here in parentheses now I need to take it to the so I'm going to use the caret to the 81st power push equals and I have a really really tiny number because it has a negative exponent there and so I'm going to write that down negative 1.18 and it goes on times 10 to the negative 17th I want to store that one I don't really have to store it but I'll just store that one in B just so you can see it one more time so I'll do store and I'll slide over with my arrow key to put it into B and push enter and now it says answer is stored in B and here's the value of it and I can see that matches what I have written down here so now I have this one in A this one in B I need to take the difference of the two so I can say recall which I have to use the second and the store button so second store and that's re doing a recall and I want to do the A first so I'll just push enter because it starts on A and then I want to subtract so I'll put in the minus and then I want to subtract the value that I stored in B so I do the second store to get the recall it's on A I need to move it over to B so there's B push enter and then now it has written on its screen this big number minus this big number so I have to push enter and there's my result and it came to 8.472 and goes on times 10 to the 16th I'm almost done but I still have to multiply by 1 over square root of 5 
And multiplying by 1 over the square root of 5, I can think of this as being over 1, but it just is going to be the 8.472 times 10 to the 16th, which I'm leaving sitting on my calculator, and it's divided by the square root of 5. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The multiplying by 1 over something is the same as dividing. So I'm going to use that idea to make it easier for me on the calculator. I have that big numerator sitting on my calculator, so I just want to say divide by and then I put in the square root of 5 in my parentheses and then there's my solution and it's times 10 to the 16th so it's a really really big number 3.78890 and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and I need to go like seven more digits to the right so it's a really really big number but I could put it in as times 10 to the 16th and that would be sufficient f of 81 is too large to fit on the calculator okay let's do one more let's find f of 8 or f sub 8 I said that one wrong f sub 8 using the the Fibonacci formula so I want f sub 8 and so to do that I will have to do again the 1 over square root of 5 and then multiply here I'll have on the numerator 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 that whole fraction raised to the n which is 8 in this case minus the 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 raised to the 8 because that was my big n and then on the calculator, let's start it again. Inside the big parentheses, I have to do that first, and then this first set of parentheses I'll work on next. So I want to take the square root of 5 first, or I can just do it this way. I'll do it a little differently. 1 plus, put in the square root of 5 parentheses, and I want to push Enter, and then divide that by 2, push Enter, and then last thing, raise it to the 8th power and that gives me my first one so it's 46.9787 and it goes on I want to store that in A and I'm going to put a little note here so I don't forget where it's stored so I have that one in A now I'm going to come back and do this one let's do it in our new method for this calculator it works well 1 minus square root of 5 and I push enter and then divide by 2 and so I have negative 0.6181 that sounds really familiar and then raise it to the eighth power and I get 0 0.0212 and it goes on and on I'm going to store that in B just to make it easy on myself store that in B and now I want to take A minus B so I'm going to do recall and there's my A so enter and then minus, so I'll put in the minus, and then recall B. So recall, move over to B, push enter. Enter one more time, and now I've got 46.9574, and it's going on and on. Remember, I still need to multiply it by the 1 over square root of 5, which is the same thing as taking that number, 469574, on and on, dividing by square root of 5. So I'll just do divide by, put in my square root, 5, done. And look at that, I get 21. Now if you remember, let's move this over just a bit, f sub 1 was 1, f sub 2 was 1, f sub 3 was 1 plus 1 or 2, f sub 4, 2 plus 1 or 3, f sub 5, 3 plus 2 or 5, f sub 6 would be 3 plus 5 or 8, f sub 7, we're almost there, 8 plus 5 or 13, and f sub 8 was 13 plus 8 or 21. So we came up with the exact same number.